Okay, and then we moved on to parallel lines have the same slope. So if you remember, they're like a weight. They're the same. Then perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So it's the Kung Fu. Uh, uh. So if I have an equation of a line, the slope would be 4. The parallel slope would also have to be 4. The perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal. So this one, to find slope, you solve for y, so I would subtract 3x, divide by negative 4. So the slope would be 3 fourths. Parallel always has the same slope. So perpendicular would be a negative reciprocal. So this one, first I got to find the slope of the line given. So that would be 10 minus 4 over uh, 1 minus 3. So that would be 6 over negative 2, which is a negative 3. So the, the slope would be negative 3, so the parallel slope is negative 3. The perpendicular is the negative reciprocal, so flip it. Now this one, the slope, is a 0, 4 minus 4 over 3, so it'd be 0. So the slope is 0. Parallel slope is also 0, making it a horizontal line. So here's what you have going straight across. So perpendicular would be the negative reciprocal. Also, you rotate it 90 degrees, so it'd have to be vertical. So, the reciprocal of zero is undefined. It's a vertical line. So, find the equation in slope intercept form parallel to y equals 6x, <laughs> excuse me, minus 10. So, slope is 6, parallel slope is 6. So, I'd use this point. Y minus 1 equals 6, X minus 8. So Y minus 1 equals 6, X minus 48. So I add 1, Y equals 6, X minus 47. Slope intercept, you solve for Y. Now this one, the slope is a third. So the perpendicular slope is negative 3. So I want it in standard form, so I use point slope, because that's what I'm given. So it'd be y minus 2 equals negative 3x plus 3. So I'm going to add 3x and add 2 to both sides. Oops, 3x plus, I made a messy there. There we go. Five. Hey, hey, kids. That wasn't too bad. Have a good day.